hey 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 welcome back or to my channel if you're new make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we have bomb ass videos that you just do not want to miss today we're going to get into this color check out this unit y'all the color is bomb the curl is bomb i slayed this unit i served in this unit like i got compliments like crazy y'all don't want to miss this install stay tuned have you ever seen a mermaid like a beautiful beautiful mermaid yeah me neither <laughs> i'll list products in the description box but this is what i use to wash and detangle the hair so you're gonna get some got to be little got to be in that little comb tooly tooly thingy and get your edges up out of the way okay we finna slay so you're just gonna use a blow dryer to dry it right up on there and just get your edges nice and smooth, okay? Because what we finna do is put the cap on. And first thing you're gonna do is smell it. <laughs> and put it on your head, down to your eyebrows, past your ears, take out any hanging earrings. Get some got to be free spray. Free them edges, okay? Yeah, freeze your edges up like how I'm doing. I do it in little tiny parts because if you do it on the ear part, sometimes it doesn't stay all the way. So just make sure you go through and get it in there nice and good. So it's nice and flat and all your hairline is covered. Blow dry it down until it's nice and hard and it's Stick right to your scalp and hairline. And then what we're gonna do after that is cut all the excess off. Yes, I know. I'm baldy with the cute lashes. <laughs> this is the final product ready to go on that ball head. Yeah, set it, set it. Mm. Chee chee chee. I ain't gonna put that shit on your head it back out of the way all the flyaway hairs and get that got to be and actually here i was trying to do the glueless method not gonna work i it did not work for me so i decided to go with the method that i know which is the glue method i want to take a quick second to point out this beautifully laid bald cap now look at it just stick to what you know that's all i have to say so I use this right here, boho, okay? That's the only way I know, it's the only way it really sticks. That's how I did it wrong. I was gonna do the glueless method, but it did not work out the way it kept lifting. So this is the way that I always do it, and it always just comes out perfect. So here it is. Now you're going to go ahead and blow dry that glue and make sure you let it dry. Don't put the wig on until it dries. I usually like let it dry a little bit until almost it's almost not white. But I get scared that it's just not going to be sticky so I just go ahead and put it on there. And if you ever see any white when you're putting it on there, all you need is a little alcohol and it'll do the job just fine. So yeah, I stuck the hairline down and then I laid it down for a few minutes just so that it could like really, really dry in there, like real good. No, no questions, okay? Now I'm gonna start on the baby hairs using this Nairobi foam um, stuff. And as you can see, this is a like second install. I didn't record my first initial install because I don't know why, but usually when I do it anyways, I always just cut off the lace so it pretty much looks the same when I do my initial install. But, chi chi chi, next. This is me just taking out the edges, the edges that I'm gonna use as my baby ears. And then I'm gonna put some of that foam spray on them to make them easier to work with. And then I'm gonna start 
laying her down. Yeah, I lay the back part down as well, just so it's out of the way. Coming back, look at it. Look at look how the curls just pop out. I'm a little bit, little bit of product. But yeah, I'm just gonna lay that back, and then I'm gonna cut the baby hairs to the length I want them, and then I'm gonna use the black got to be um, gel to start like really, really lay my edges. Now, I know the wig looks a little dry with all those little flyaways or whatever, but like I said, this is not my initial install from when I first got the unit. When I first got the unit, I did have to detangle and stuff, but it wasn't nearly as bad as me installing the unit and not keeping up with it. Let me tell y'all, keeping up and maintaining this unit is like a little bit of work because... You don't want to just let it be free because then it'll dry up and it'll start to tangle. I'm also going to show you guys how I bring the wig back to life from like drab to absolutely fab. So make sure you guys keep watching. But let's get into these edges, okay? This is how I love my edges. I like to make art on my edges. Like if you've seen any of my other install videos, you will just know that the swoopy loop and the hoop -de loop is the type of edges for me. I love doing little twirly whirlies so I can put little diamonds up in them. You know what I'm saying? Diamonds are girl best friend. I am a diamond in the rough. I'm about to blow up so y'all stay tuned. But yeah, anyways, I just like look at like you see what I'm doing? I just like doing my edges like that. I think it's so freaking cute. Some people might say it's eh, 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 don't give a fuck. I love my edges like this, okay? So my camera died, I couldn't get the whole edge lay, but looky, looky now, sucky, sucky now, check them edges out. Like I said, get into this color, get into these curls, which are not even curlified all the way. Okay, yes, I know, I look so good, enjoy these pics. <laughs> It's so crazy how you could go from cute to I got the bike holiday. I got the bike. So when you're maintaining this here, you're gonna want to make sure that you're putting it into smaller sections, whereas I did it in a big huge bun and put a bonnet over it and allowed it to just mat up and tangle up. Not a good idea. When I had to go through it and detangle it, I actually got a lot of shedding. Here is the amount, okay? It's ridiculous, so make sure you like keep up with this hair. Now, it looks like a lot, but it's curly hair, so it's not really a lot. It's kind of expected, but I did this very carefully, and I just went from the bottom to the top, my ghetto-ass spray bottle. But anyways, I just wet it, soaked the hair, like drenched it in water, and then I detangled from the bottom to the top using a white tube comb. After I was finished, I twisted it like you see me doing here, and then I allowed it to stay in that twist until I did the whole entire head. This is me with one section left. I'm gonna show you guys this section. Again, I take my ghetto-ass spray bottle, drench it in water, and then comb, okay. Looky, looky, sucky, sucky. Come from the ends to the root, okay? And after I was finished, I took all the twists out, freed the hair, and then went back and created more smaller sections so that I could add mousse into the hair little by little. And every strand can be moisturized and soaked up in that goodness. So again, I'm using Nairobi, and this is how I went through and moisturized the curls to poppy loppy, droppy schnappy, okay? To make the curls pop even more, I use a skinny teeth or whatever the little tiny teeth comb is called. And I started from the ends, very important to start from the ends always, and worked my way up to the roots and really defined those curls by working the product into them. And the result was bomb, bomb curls. This unit is so great at repenting to its natural state and it's just so beautiful, look at me. 
This is it up close and personal. The finish, 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 finish. Okay. Again, this is my favorite unit ever. Okay, I love this unit. This video is not sponsored, of course. This hair is from Supernova. I'm gonna include all the description and specs. There, all the specs in the description, okay? And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe.